Here's a little scrapping video I made to tide you guys over until I come out with a bigger production. And I didn't even see it from in the corner street. Down there, it's like the car was in the way. I was totally blocking the view. See? It's like the same level. And it's white. Totally blocking the view. I almost passed it up, but I took one more look. When I was turning the corner. Lucky me, right? <laughs> That's the scrap life. Always gotta keep your head on a swivel. Alright, let's get this thing loaded in here. Drop the gate. Come on, everybody, you all know the routine. Alright, let's put this thing in. Push it in. Alright, I need two hands. so good it's free so free over good free I'll take it if it's free it's for me it's a 15 inch tire it's a little bit of a small profile for my truck but hey it's free yeah there's nothing in here What do we got in here? Let's see this dumpster. Everybody seems to like dumpster diving. That's nothing. And some glass, a fan. Some tile. Computer water. I guess I'll take that. Take that computer printer. I'm a little bit more of a desperate soul than the scrap and pallet man. I'm gonna have to climb my fat butt up in here. Get what I can get. There you go. Hardcore scrapping. He's got brains. He, he's got brains. He don't really need to. He don't really need to pick like I do. He's going to school or something. So, <clears throat> me, I don't got brains. I'm kind of stuck with this. Let's see what else we got. Well, pens. Use that. There's another one down there. Hey, free over good, right? What's this thing? Now get that out of there. All traffic turn left or right. Alrighty. Why is this in the dumpster? Antimicrobial soap. Yeah, I think I'll take that. I don't have standards. Oh, okay, a little bit of metal. I'll put the phone down. Now for the joy of leaving this dumpster. Oops. 
sorry about that. I didn't find the right way. Now the joy of getting out of here. I just like to start with like a good base. Like something, something pretty firmed up. Like there's a box of tile here. And some uh, like a wood drawer that seems pretty firm. Even though there's a big broken piece of glass right there that would rip my leg open. It's getting pretty good. Oh, there's some more pens down there. I don't think I'm going to get them now. And it's a little ways down there. Ready for the show of shows? <sighs> get over it. And stepping out, I thought I ripped the, thought I ripped the hole of my crotch, but I guess not. Feeling for air conditioning. There isn't any. So. We're good. Maybe I'll take this bucket. The drunk guy's got better aim than I do. I tried to get this stuff from the dumpster into the truck, and all these like went flying all over. go around with signs and turn it, turn it upside down. Got anything else? Uh, I'm looking. I don't see anything. Nothing? What are you, stuff? Yeah, it's uh, huh? YouTube, vlog. The vlog stuff? Yeah. Hey, really? There's a lot of good stuff in here, man. Yeah, I know. Tons. I already picked it, though. So mm -hmm. I already picked it. Yeah. There's a few more pens. I took some of the pens. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what did you do with all the stuff you had to do? Oh, well, uh, some of it went to the warehouse and the rest of it I scrapped. Oh, you scrapped most of it? Yeah. Did you? I was, there's still, there's did still a little bit more. You but... still got a warehouse somewhere else then? Oh, yeah, I got another warehouse now. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. What do you need? Pick through to, uh, like, clean up the good stuff? Yeah, I got picked through it because I, I don't like going to the junkyard and doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It sucks doing it there, man. What do you do? You got to clean up motors and stuff. Yeah. A little dumpster diving exploration here. And in this dumpster, there's an LG something. What the heck kind of a product would that be? It's probably a TV. I thought it was like some kind of VCR, but there's a pallet in here. I can't let Scrap and Pallet Man get them all. Hell no. And it's a regular size pallet, too. Like a 48 by 40 or whatever. Cool. Yeah. Can't let that guy get them all. What'd this world be coming to? I'd sure like to know what that LG item is now. Uh, it looks like some kind of computer or something. Why do people why do people like the dumpster diving videos? There's, there's so many of them. Dumpsters seem like they're... Yeah, it's a TV. You don't want that. Dumpsters seem like to be a, like a big hit. No one-handed. They seem to be like a one-hit type of thing. Like a, people are really into them. Because there's a... Always some new items inside, especially if, when you go to some halfway decent stores. But yeah, here, let's see if we got some scrap over here. Uh, always something good. Let's go check this out, man. Need to check this out. Electrical supplies and tape. I'll take this. Now where to put it? <laughs>
fishing wire through conduit. Coming so bad. Based on the evidence of the, of the grass that's been sitting here for a little while, so there hasn't been any scrappers back. All right, under the next. Here, we got like a house under construction, still yielding more scrap. A little bit of iron. That's nice. And some aluminum. Cool. Guess what? It's going in my truck. Let me go pick this up. Alright, here to this McDonald's and uh, I see, first of all I see a dumpster, it's still open for business but they also got these containers so there's nothing in the dumpster but you know what these containers mean, that means they're gonna, they're gonna update the store so I'm gonna keep my eye on, I'm gonna keep my eye out for uh, the remodeling process and then scrap pile that's going to come out because if you know anything about McDonald's there's a lot there is a lot of really valuable material in there different kinds of uh, scrap items there's all kinds of like great scrap at McDonald's I mean they got the depending on the remodel that they do and it looks like this one is in serious need of an update so that means they're probably going to completely like go over the entire store so that means kitchen equipment which is stainless steel and copper piping and wire and uh the furniture from inside the store which you know the tables and chairs are partially made out of steel so there's lots of steel there and they got a monster dumpster so that means well they have those style lights on the roof those yellow lights so you know those are coming off and all that that's all aluminum and uh, you know there's ballast in there for the fluorescent lights you know probably gonna update the light poles too and put the LED uh, lights in there so that means uh, you know either the entire pole is coming down or the light fixture at least so more scrap on the way for me for sure and some good stuff too like probably at least I would say at least three to four thousand dollars worth of scrap can come out of the store with no problem. Got a little bit more. Of course, there's always a fucking car. Always a car. Always a car in the way. Down this little itty bitty street. I mean, out of all the streets, that lady had to just go down the street. I, you know, the people are nosy. They want to see what you're doing because there's no reason why she had to go down here. 